You guys, welcome. My name is Abby, and I'm the owner and founder of Bolt Boutique. And I thought it'd be very fitting to go over wedding guest dress options, considering it's the spring and weddings are literally every weekend. I know personally we have like 12 this year, which isn't a flex, just totally the stage of life that we're in, which is so fun, but it's like a dilemma every time, like what am I gonna wear? So I thought it'd be fun to pull different options based on the venues and kind of talk about different ways to style them. Okay, let's start off with a city venue. I feel like these are really common. Usually they're very romantic, typically at night. And I think they're usually a little fancier too. So I think something in more of like a jewel tone, a little bit of a deeper color, satin would be really pretty and elegant. You definitely want to be something or dressed in something a little bit more elevated. So this is the Celine Maxi in Emerald. But we also have it in black. And I think you could even style it with like a leather jacket if it's a little cooler at night or um, a pretty sweater or cardigan, like a crop cardigan would be really pretty over this and wear it with like a strappy heel and it would be perfect like an open toe black heel or even like a white um, pop of pop of white would be really pretty. So something like this. We also have this dress and it does no justice on the hanger, um, but it actually is like tight up at the top and then it has an open back. It is stunning and this is a great short option and I love the black. I think it's super classy, obviously very elegant and I'll put little pictures of these on too so you can kind of get an idea. But it'd be fun to even wear this with like a white cowgirl boot for kind of a different look, or you can wear it classic with like a strappy sandal um, or a like chunky heel. Another great city option would be something like this. I love the bright color, but it's still a deeper color. Uh, I think the red is stunning. And I think too, just this length and kind of shift dress style would be perfect for a city wedding. I think under lights or in like old brick buildings, this would just look so pretty. And I love the lace detailing. It's very girly, very elegant perfect for um, a more elevated wedding. Okay, if your wedding venue is at like a winery or a garden, um, anything a little bit more earthy, probably outside, I, I love this dress. This is the Hippie Chick Maxi dress. The pattern on it is really pretty and gorgeous and the colors are fun for spring. And I do like that it's halter style and has this little cutout. Again, I'll do a picture of it because I don't necessarily think this does it justice, but I love the long length. You can wear it with um, kind of a girly heel and a little woven bag, and that'd be so cute and beautiful for a winery wedding. Another great option for a winery if you want something short. I love how flouncy this dress is and has the ruffle details and again has a pretty pattern to it. I don't know why I just love patterns for something like that. I like the silhouette and shape this dress gives where it cinches in the waist and then it's very like flouncy on top and on bottom. I mean, so comfortable if it's warm, you know, you have a shorter length, but then also since you're outside, it gets chilly at night, you have a great sleeve. I actually wore this to a winery wedding and I loved it. It was so comfortable and it looks really cool when you're dancing and it's like swinging all around. <laughs> okay, the last two that I think would be fun for a winery or a garden are this, or this, is this dress. This is not actually available online yet, but I'll show you just one color at a time, obviously. Uh, I love that this is kind of like a linen material. I think it's like perfect for summer. And I think the colors of it are really earthy, really natural, just something that kind of goes with like <laughs> nature a little bit. Um, it has that cool halter neck and then it actually connects here. And then it has cutouts on the side, it's elastic, and then it's like a longer skirt. Something really cool about this dress too is that actually you can unbutton it, wear the top separately, and then wear the skirt separately. But I think together it'd be really pretty for, you know, kind of a more outdoor wedding. And it's really, like I said, lightweight and perfect for like those hot summer days. I love this dress for a farm wedding. I think the gingham print on it is really pretty, but also being in a neutral color, it's not very loud. So I feel like you're not drawing a ton of attention to yourself. And also the cutout detail is really cute and modern. And then the flouncy skirt is like sweet, again, fun to dance in, but also really comfortable to eat in too. So we love that about it. I feel like this dress is just perfect. You could even wear it with um, country, cowgirl boots if you have some, or you could wear it with like a woven heel and it'd be really pretty and like perfect and comfortable for outside.
This smock dress I also think would be perfect for a barn style wedding just because it has all the ruffles, it's very girly, very flouncy, and it has that skirt that again just like moves really well. I think it'd be cute with some country boots or even um, I wore it with like a white strappy heel that was really cool and chunky and very comfortable. So maybe a thicker heel if you're outside walking on dirt and grass. And I think this dress would just go perfect with that very easy to style, very comfortable for being outside. And yeah, just beautiful. Love this dress for that. These two dresses I feel like are pretty versatile based on like whatever venue you're going to. But if you want something a little bit more tight, I think this is a cute option. It has the faux wrap skirt, so you could be really comfortable when you're eating. Um, and then also it has the ruffle details. You could wear this with a ton of different shoes. I mean, you could wear it with a heel for the ceremony and then throw in a sneaker for the reception and it would still look really cute and you'd be super comfortable. And it has great stretch too, which I love. And I don't know, it just has like that elevated look for a wedding. The last venue is a church wedding or more traditional. So I think when you're thinking about what you want to wear, maybe something you can layer if it's a tighter or more like revealing option or even something looser like a baby doll dress. Maybe not this exact style since it is cream. I mean, I think it'd be fine for a wedding. It might be too close to white, but I think a style like this in general is always extremely flattering, extremely comfortable, and you can literally eat all night and no one will be able to tell. It's so comfortable, but also they're very dressy, easy to pair with a heel, um, a clutch, just really simple accessories. And I mean, they're always a hit and we love the silhouette on like every body type. The last dress would be like a long maxi like this. I actually love the pattern. I wore this to a wedding um, actually this past weekend. And what I do is I layer a cropped white sweater over it. I'll put a picture here, but it looks so cute and layered. And then when you're dancing at night, I just take the sweater off and it's this fun little maxi with a low back and it's really flattering. It's fun pattern for a happy occasion. And then it looks really cool with like a white shoe, a white heel or even like a rattan heel. I've worn it with that in the past too. And it looks really great. So I, I love a pop of color. I love a statement pattern and this really is it. And I love that this dress isn't too tight but still kind of hugs your body. So it's super flattering and really pretty, um, but not like in your face. You know, sometimes we want to be in your face, sometimes we don't. And I think that dress is a um, really great option. So. That is everything. Those are all the dresses. Comment your favorite below. If you're going to a wedding this year, I would love to hear what kind of venues you're going to. I just want to know what you guys are doing so that I can get dresses accordingly and outfits accordingly for the website. But guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'm always an email or a click away.